Hey lovelies! I get a lot of questions in the comment section from you guys asking about the tools that I use in my videos, so I thought it would be fun today to share my 10 favorite kitchen essentials. These are tools that I absolutely can't be without. You'll see them over and over again in my videos, and I consider them total must-haves. Just to let you know, none of these are sponsored. No one's paying me to say any of this. These are just things that I really, really love to have on hand. First on my list of kitchen must-haves is a digital meat thermometer. Now, I talk about it all the time. The only safe way to know when meat is cooked properly is by using a meat thermometer. You definitely can use an analog one, but I find the digital ones give you the best readings. Now, I will admit, this one was a bit of a kitchen splurge. It was maybe in the $60 range. It's by a company called Thermoworks, but I've had it for four years and I seriously use it at least once a week. It was totally worth the expense. You can find them online a lot more inexpensively between $12 and $15, but that digital screen makes a huge difference. So I hope you will check one of these out. I found it came in really handy in my upcoming stuffed chicken video, which is going to be delicious, so stay tuned for that in a few weeks. Next on my list of kitchen must-haves are rubber spatulas. Now, these are really inexpensive. I probably have half a dozen of them in the house, but they come in handy for so many things. Really amazing when you're baking or when you're working in a non-stick frying pan, for example, so you don't scratch the coating. You may recognize this one from my omelet video that I did a few months ago. This is the perfect tool for flipping an omelet. But what I really am loving right now are these mini, mini versions. You can see how much smaller this one is. I was turned on to these by my friend Alicia. She's a fellow YouTuber from Mind Over Munch. If you don't know her channel, you should definitely check it out. But she is obsessed with these. She probably has a dozen in her house. And it really has changed my life. I actually don't think you can ever have enough of them. My next kitchen must have is a really good quality vegetable peeler. Now I've actually talked about this guy on the channel before because that's how strongly I feel about it. What sets this vegetable peeler apart is that the blades are serrated. So it's able to get through much tougher vegetables, things like butternut squash, if you can believe it, this makes short work of. What's cool about this guy is that it almost always comes packaged with one of these. This is a julienne tool. I use it to make things like zoodles, so instead of using a spiralizer, I'll use this guy, and it just shreds things really, really finely, and you get nice julienne vegetables each and every time. Titan peelers. I'll leave a link in the description box below. Next, lovelies, never underestimate the power of a good citrus juicer. I use citrus in loads of my recipes, so this always comes in really handy. What I love about this one specifically is that it's got a lime attachment as well as a lemon attachment, so it changes sizes within one handy tool. How great is that? This is the best way to maximize the juice you are getting from your lemons and limes. Another tool you've probably seen in dozens of my videos is this little guy. It's called a rasp, and it's really good at grating things like Parmesan cheese or garlic or ginger, this makes short work of them really, really effective because it's very sharp. It's also an amazing zester. I know there's a great pun here. Just can't put my finger on it. Another essential on my list are my onion goggles. I know they look a little silly, but do not knock them until you've tried them. Now, I shared these in a gadget video about a year ago, and at first when I got them, I was sort of mocking them. I was making fun of them. But let me tell you something. They work, and they come in really, really handy. On this show, sometimes I make up to nine dinners in a single day. That's a lot of onions. These keep my peepers tear-free. I actually wear them. I just don't wear them in front of you because, you know, they look kind of goofy. Another must have on my list of kitchen essentials is a cast iron skillet. Now I'm sure you have seen this guy in a ton of my videos lately. I'm really obsessed with my cast iron skillets now, but that wasn't always the case. In fact, in a video just over a year ago, I called out cast iron skillets in my video and talked about how much I loathe using them because everything sticks to them. And then I got some really helpful advice in the comment section and it totally changed my mind about cast iron skillets. 
I am thinking about doing an entire video just talking about how to care for these beauties because once you get the hang of cooking with them, you will never go back. And here is a montage of all the things I love cooking at a cast iron skillet. Let's be honest, it's mostly just butter. Now I know it's no secret to you guys that I am absolutely obsessed with mason jars, but I couldn't be as obsessed with mason jars as I am if not for this little guy. This is called a canning funnel. It basically just sits on the mouth of your mason jar and then you can fill it with anything you like, things like soup or diced tomatoes or whatever you happen to be canning that day. It has spared me a lot of messes in the kitchen and it's like the best $3 you're ever going to spend get to give them away as gifts. Trust me, people will thank you. So we talked about one of my favorite kitchen saves. Now we're gonna talk about one of my all time favorite kitchen splurges and that is my chef's knife. Now this, I have to be honest, was an anniversary gift. So I didn't pay for it myself, but it has been with me since probably well before the Domestic Geek. It's going on 10 years now. So a knife like this can run you between $150 and $200, which seems like a lot, but if you think about the fact that I've had 10 years of heavy use, it really pays itself off in no time. Mine is a Japanese knife by a company called Shun. I'll link it in the description box below, but there are lots of great brands of chef's knives out there. Just do your research and find the one that makes you happy. And now maybe I'm just gonna put this down because I've actually been waving a knife around on camera for like five minutes and I hope I haven't made you all very, very uncomfortable. <laughs> My kitchen essentials list would not be complete unless I talked about these incredible takeout containers. As you guys probably know, I do a ton of meal prep. If you don't know that, then you should definitely check out any one of my dozens of meal prep videos. But these are so incredibly useful if you are into meal prepping. They're also great for food storage. I love them because they're microwave safe, they're dishwasher safe, you get a lot of use out of them. I buy mine at a restaurant supply store, but you can also find them just as easily on Amazon. I shared them in a video about a year ago and you have been asking about them ever since, so I'll link them in the description box below and you can find out where you can find these takeout containers of your very own. And then, there's this. I could not talk about my kitchen must-haves without giving a mention to my Dutch oven. I call this beauty Big Red. I also have a cat named Big Red. And I have to say, this is my favorite kitchen tool of all time. And also, my favorite cat of all time. But don't tell my other three cats, because they do get a little jealous. I have had this for more than five years. It has been used constantly. You'll see it in every soup video we've ever made. What I love about this is that of course it is enormous, so it's great for batch cooking, but it's also really resilient, so it can go from stovetop right into the oven. That is such a wonderful trait to have. Now there are brands out there that will cost you hundreds and hundreds of dollars, but mine actually costs only about 50 bucks, and I've had it for years and used it hundreds of times, and it is still in great shape. So if you do want to do a little saving, I will link some options in the description box below. I'll also add some links to the more expensive versions if you feel like splurging, totally your call. I hope you guys found this video helpful and that it inspires you in the kitchen. All of these items are linked in the description box below, so if you're interested in any of them, you can take a look for them there. Keep in mind, I am going to be doing a Q&A coming up very, very soon. So if you have any questions that you'd like answered on my Q&A, you can leave those in the comment section below because of course I always love hearing from you. And I will be back soon, as I always am, with recipes, so stay tuned for those. And if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe because there is lots more deliciousness where this came from. <laughs>